Hi, my name is Lokesh Hori. Welcome to my live page. Today I am going to speak a little bit about heritage conservation as a profession. Uh, but before that, I would like to introduce myself and my life to you. Um, I did my schooling from St. Joseph's Academy in Dehradun. And after having done that, I did a master's in management. So I did my bachelor's of commerce and then I did an MBA in sales and marketing and worked with a liquor company in Kolkata. After working for a few years, I decided to come back to Dehradun and uh, wanted to teach. So I did my bachelor's in education while I was teaching in a school. I was running a school myself. As you can see, it has two words, heritage and conservation. Uh, so let's first uh, understand what is heritage. Heritage is something of value that we get from our past. So it could be anything from a building, it could be paintings, it could be statues, it could be cl clothes, it could be fabric. Uh, so anything that is of some value uh, that we inherit from our past, that is called heritage. Now there are certain things that, that are of no value to us like for instance, uh, rituals like dowry or for instance uh, the caste system which we do not need to save but there are lots of valuable things that we do need to save and that is what we consider as heritage. Uh, now heritage needs to be conserved. So the second term that comes into this field is conservation and conservation generally refers to saving those objects or saving those art forms preserving them for the future. The first point uh, that we cover under this uh, is the knowledge of art history. So it's very important to know about art history. Art as such is, is not just about painting or it's not, it's not just about music. Art could be like the making of tiles or the making of plaster for walls. That is also included in art. So it includes a lot of uh, mundane things and as you can see it's a very very wide field. The mind has to be very creative, it has to be ticking all the time. When you look at an object or you are shown a site and, and you are a heritage professional who is, who is asked to give your opinion on what can be done with the site, so your mind has to start ticking and it's your uh, creativity, it's your creative uh, work interesting creative things that will help you to suggest alternative uses, it will help you to, to suggest ways of preserving that object or site and uh, that will give you the success that you desire. One of the positives is this a wonderful combination of science and art. Um, your analysis, your knowledge of mathematics, your knowledge of management is all bracketed under science. These are all scientific fields and they help you to analyze the situation very well. But then you also need to know your art history, you need to know sketching, you need to know the creative fields in order to come up with a good solution for every project that you undertake. And I guess the biggest challenge one faces is the mindset. Uh, mindset in terms of government policy makers in terms of people. Uh, so uh, what is happening is that uh, people, uh, they are uh, apathetic about their heritage. They are not too concerned about whether they should save the heritage at the moment. Uh, people are obsessed with development. They want better apartments, they want better homes to live in, they want uh, factories, they want huge buildings. But you know, the challenge is to go for both. So heritage conservation involves a lot of research, it involves a lot of reading uh, and it also uh, forces you to update yourself constantly about new developments, new methods, new techniques. So uh, my day begins ideally at 5 a.m. in the morning. I wake up early and do about two hours of reading. And uh, then I prepare myself for office because there are a whole lot of emails that I have to reply to. There are a whole lot of projects that I'm working on that I have to assess. So uh, I 
I go and meet my team in the office, talk to them about various projects that we are working on, uh, assess every project one after the other. Uh, as I said earlier, heritage professionals need to travel a lot. Heritage conservation demands a lot of traveling on site. You have to be uh, monitoring each and every step of the conservation process. So, generally, these projects are in far off spaces. So, uh, even though some of my days are spent in the office, uh, on other days I'm traveling to uh, picturesque locations, beautiful locations, uh, where uh, I'm interacting with people, uh, trying to assess the progress on the projects. Uh, there are lots of challenges during this time that sometimes materials are not available, sometimes the skilled craftsmen has disappeared. So all those challenges have to be met. It's, it's quite a hectic uh, activity. Uh, so you end up uh, waking early and you end up sleeping late. But yeah, it, it does give you some satisfaction and projects get done. So I really hope uh, that I was able to give you a balanced view of heritage conservation as a profession. Thanks guys.